Hey guys, hope everyone's having a good Sunday evening. We did get really different kind of weather today. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I did. It was something different, even though it was kind of rainy. And of course, the rain is from Tropical Storm Beta. So it's 7 p.m. I'm just getting you a quick update on what's going on with the latest numbers that we just got in from the National Hurricane Center on Beta. Notice when you get to the grays around the center of Beta, by the way, winds have not changed. It's still 60 mile per hour winds and movement has not changed. But I did want to point out that the structure looks a little bit different as some of the really high clouds indicated by the whites and grays have sort of uh, ceased actually this evening. So uh, we're really just seeing some more uh, showers and some lower cloud tops indicated by this radar or excuse me, satellite enhanced satellite image. And uh, we will get to radar in a minute. But first, I just wanted to show you that path for tropical storm beta. We're expecting it to move west and I'll show you why in a second if you stay with me here and then it will probably come to almost a halt Tuesday, maybe even into Tuesday night and Wednesday before it starts to move off to the northeast as a trough of low pressure comes in and drags it up that way. So that's what we're expecting at this point. It does look like it could be weakening probably because of first of all wind shear from the trough. Well, and really before that even being over land, of course, for this amount of time over southeast. Texas should gradually bring the winds further farther uh, down as far as the wind speeds go. So it might be a depression when it nears western Louisiana, potentially as we get into the middle of the week Wednesday or so. Satellite and radar imagery is showing the rain around southeast Louisiana, and we have had a few showers. Certainly earlier today, we picked up near a half inch to an inch or so of rain, so thankfully it wasn't too heavy. But we are seeing a couple of these downpours south of the coast with some heavier rain farther south of our land areas. So that's something we'll watch this evening, but I am seeing some of that getting into Plaquemines Parish. So if you're way down there, you're probably getting some of those showers. But right now, some of the heaviest is still continuing to stay off the coast, and we've seen that trend as it reaches inland and reaches some drier air. It has been tapering off, so we haven't actually had all that much rain today, although it was sort of a continuous drizzle for a long time. Also, if you were aware of this little area that we just started talking about over Florida today, I do have some good news. The National Hurricane Center was giving it a very slim 10% chance of development. They're now going with near 0% chance of development. So this was not something that we were thinking is going to uh, strengthen. It is going to drift west across the Gulf and just kind of enhance some moisture, but there will be strong upper level winds and it doesn't look like it's going to be able to organize or develop. So that was just something that you may have seen pop up. Uh, we were highlighting it today because of the that slim chance of development, but I just wanted to let you know that that chance of development has gone down and is almost non-existent at this point. So if you were uh, aware of that, we're not really looking at that and we really weren't earlier to develop. Here's our flash flood watch, by the way. In southeast Louisiana, the big effects are going to be the rain and the coastal flooding. So as for rain, this is a bit tentative because we'll need to just see whether some of those heavy areas make it in. If we do get a big rain band, perhaps Monday night or Tuesday, where it would set up. But the thinking right now is that the heavy rain might make it south of the lake. And then as it moves north, it might start to weaken a bit. This is all very tentative. It's just kind of looking at what some of the models have again for about a day or two out. So flash flood watch for three to five inches goes south of the lake. But don't be surprised if this area gets expanded or if the numbers change a little bit as we get a better feel. Just to give you one example, this is the GFS American model showing rain amounts. This is not by any means a, a true forecast or what we're saying is going to happen. I just want to throw that out there. This is just one model run with the actual data. But by Tuesday night, I've paused it here from tonight all the way through Tuesday night. Many of us may have gotten three to four or so inches of rain and then the GFS does have on Wednesday and even into Thursday a little more. So you can see generally three to five inches falls pretty well in line with what the model is saying as far as that particular model. A few have some higher amounts near the coast. We'll just have to see. Also, the second thing besides the rain is the coastal flooding. 
Coastal flood warning is for these dark green shaded areas. Coastal flood advisory is the neon green. So essentially it means those tides, they have been pushed up. The water's along the shorelines. I was in Slidell along a bayou today. I saw it way high. Um, so whatever you're seeing right now will probably continue or maybe even go up just a touch as we get into Monday and Tuesday and then ease probably by Wednesday. So we'll say two to three feet above normal is how it's looking right now. So those of you in coastal areas who have seen the water come up that will probably continue for at least a few days until beta which you saw is pretty slow moving at one at, at the point of Tuesday ish when it gets off to our west so that's why it would continue here are current winds and then here are current wind gusts we've seen them close to 35 to 40 miles per hour in a few spots and the windy conditions will continue so that's another thing we'll talk about a wind advisory which will be in effect for those gusts close to about 40 or so miles per hour in new orleans this evening we have gray skies it has not to me felt at all like late september in fact these temperatures are high with 73 in new orleans that is more like um, mid to late november sort of uh, temperatures uh, for new orleans for our averages the dew point 66 and i thought it felt kind of chilly i think i'm going to grab my jacket when uh, i go get something to eat in a second so it is going to be a kind of windy chilly sort of I don't know don't get mad at me for saying chilly coolish mild I don't know what adjective you want but we will be in the 60s north of the lake low 70s south of the lake and that will probably last through the night also in water vapor imagery, you've seen this huge area of much drier air indicated by the reds and oranges. And then here, of course, is beta. Here's the Texas coast. So this is one of the reasons we're not expecting it to strengthen a lot. And the winds, the National Hurricane Center has just kind of kept steady. 60 miles per hour gusts to 70, and they've been saying that for some time. And it does look like we may see it kind of fluctuate just a little bit, but really not expecting this to strengthen as it nears the coast because of the dry air. And there's also been lots of shear, which has given it that asymmetrical sort of look for a long time. The steering is the high pressure kind of expanding out this way, which is what's making it move to the west right now. Also, the center was adjusted to the west today, it jumped to the west too. And then you can see that as we get into tomorrow, that's pretty much what we'll see. It'll kind of hover here in South Texas, maybe as I mentioned into Tuesday, and then it's starts to respond to this trough of low pressure and move off to the northeast after that. So that is the thinking for those upper level steering currents. And that's why we haven't seen the path change all that much within the past day or more. So we're still thinking in southeast Louisiana, what to expect? Not the center of the storm really charging in here, but it will be rainy, I think, through Wednesday. And actually, we have rain chances for some showers Thursday too. lower chances Friday in the weekend. Coastal flooding will continue. Those tides running above normal as long as we have the wind, which will be there probably through Wednesday and then gray, breezy and mild. Um, I think maybe, you know, for a lot of us who um, are not near the coast, we will certainly notice the wind, the rain and the cooler feel. And even along the coast, it will be, of course, windy and feel kind of cooler. So you can think about maybe rain jackets this week. That would be a good thing. Uh, maybe some uh, sweaters or something like that. Am I thinking about wearing a sweater? I don't know. It does look like next week uh, we may find Finally, be getting a pretty decent front, so we'll talk more about that. But this is the quick update on what to expect from beta. And again, just want to ease your mind if you were watching that little spot over Florida, wondering if the chance for development was going to blossom and just go way up. Um, at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to develop. The National Hurricane Center dropped it to near a zero percent chance. So that'll do it for now, guys. Thank you for joining me for this a look at beta. And we'll be back at 10 p.m. on Channel 4. Lots of updates on our app and at WWLTV.com and our social media. So for now, I'll say goodbye and hope to see you at 10.